Hi guys, it's me Coco from the Many Hoonies and today I'm going to show you how to make traditional Hawaiian poi. Here's Buddy and I at our friend's taro farm. Taro is called kalo in Hawaiian. It is traditionally cooked in an emu or an underground stove. The top layer is rock. This is us pounding poi at our friend's farm. You have to pound it and turn it into a pa'i'ai. Pa'i'ai is the first stage before poi. Pa'i'ai's consistency is like mochi or cookie dough. Even babies can pound kalo if they want. Now we gotta get all the lumps out, so we're gonna pound it hard. Now that we got the lumps out, we can turn it into poi by adding more water. It's okay if you don't have a stone or a wooden board, because we're going to teach you a new way how to make poi without those items. First thing we do is pour in one cup of water into our pressure cooker and make sure we have the wire rack. The wire rack is important because it allows us to steam the kalo and not just boil it. Bigger pieces go on the bottom Smaller pieces go on the top. Now we're going to cook it on high pressure for 30 minutes. Now that it's done, we're going to use tongs to take out the kalo and put it in fresh cool water. This allows the skin to easily fall off. Now we're going to discard it or compost it so it can be environmentally friendly, just like ancient Hawaiians did. Now rinse out your bowl and get fresh, clean water. Now you need to remove any of the bruises or bumps. For the big pieces, you need to cut it, and for the small pieces, you need to break it with your hands. Now, you need to put the kalo into your blender. Then cover the kalo with filtered water. Put on the cover, and you're ready to blend. Blend until the kalo is smooth. When it is smooth, take it out, pour it into a bowl, and you've got a delicious poi. I like poi because it's so smooth, and the way we made it tastes like taro ice cream. Thanks for watching our video. Please subscribe down here. Watch our other videos up here. And until then, bye!